today I'm going to be teaching an LLI group in the blue kit on level L. This is going to be an odd lesson and it shows me here the new book that I will be giving the students today on level L and it shows me the two books that they're going to be rereading for fluency. It also has some goals here of what the students should be able to do reading on a level L. I also have my lesson plan template next to me because I need to make sure that I incorporate all of the SEs into the lesson. So the first part of the lesson is having the students reread for fluency. They should already have these two books in their book bags from the two days before. It gives me some prompts here to help them be more fluent readers. After that, we move to the phonics and word work section and it has the principle here for me. It also has an example. So today we're going to be understanding the concept of contractions. In my lesson, tam lesson template, I have word work here and we're, they're going to be doing word work in their journal on contractions. After that, I'm going to give them their new book. They're going to be reading Little Cat, Big Cat today, but first I have to introduce the text. So I'm going to go back and make sure that I incorporate some of these things in before we read. So the first thing I'm going to do is the book introduction and the genre. So I'm going to build their schema and do a turn and talk and ask them, what do you already know about big cats and little cats? I'm also going to talk about genre and ask them if this is fiction or nonfiction. I also want to give them the words because sometimes they don't know how to answer the question. So I'm going to give them a sentence stem of this is nonfiction because after that, we're going to talk about author's purpose and vocabulary. I do these two sections together. So for author's purpose, the author wrote this book too. And then we're going to talk about vocabulary. And I chose that we're going to talk about the word way on page five. So I'm going to have the students turn to page five and find the word way. And today we're going to talk about how this is a multiple meaning word because it could also be spelled W-A-Y and it has two different meanings. I want them to notice that before they read. Then I do the student expectations, so today we'll read to find out about how cats and lions are different and are alike. So this, I set my purpose for reading, and then I have the students read the text. During reading, I can put my students here, and I can talk about decoding and fix-up strategies. I can also ask them comprehension questions, or I can work on their fluency or annotations. After they read, we discuss and revisit the text. I like to go ahead and have a reader's response ahead of time, but sometimes we also like to have a discussion. So I chose that one today. We're going to be doing retelling and summary. So for nonfiction, we're going to go over the main idea and details of each section in the book. So we're going to discuss that today and then I'm going to have them write about it, a quick little snippet of it in their writing notebook. If you do have questions ahead of time, sometimes the students have trouble with some of the questions so it's a good idea to choose one or two of the questions from your reader's response to go over as a group based on which ones they had the most difficulty with. And it's always good to do a teacher think aloud and incorporate the students thoughts about how to get the right answer.